travel back popping now baby we vaccinated and we ready to go All right, y'all, quick room tour. Girls trip, Napa Valley begins right now. Right now. So we're doing one night in San Francisco, then we're gonna drive to Napa tomorrow. So I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. This is the Palace Hotel um, Marriott. Here's the restroom here. Love the floors. Love this subway tile backsplash. Come the robes and all that. This is a very spacious closet for a hotel. Here's a walk-in closet. <laughs> Slippers, robes. Then we have a double queen room. I like the color scheme in here mm -hmm. with the burgundy and the cream. So he's like his little cute chair. And then here's the bedding and decor. Love the ivory cream burgundy combo. So yeah, that's the room. Massive headboard. All their dresses look like luggage. It's like a fridge in here. Okay, it's a fridge and a safe in there as well. All right, I'm not gonna be up on this camera too long because I look a mess. I got three hours of sleep last night, woke up at 3.30 this morning, got on an early flight. We're hungry, so we just wanted to check in, drop our bags off, and now Monica and I are gonna go walk to get some, is it still breakfast time? Yeah, some breakfast, brunch, whatever we can find, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take you guys along with us throughout the four days we're here. One day in San Francisco, two days in Na Napa, two and a half days in Napa. Then we come back to San Francisco for another night. It's going to be a whole bunch of wine drinking, restaurant eating, laughter. If you guys are, um, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel for a while, y'all know that we did a wine trip. Um, to the black owned Salamander Resort last year in place of this trip because we had this trip scheduled last year We canceled it because of COVID and now we finally rebooked it um, So I'm proud of us. We booked it the next year. I'm proud of us. Look at us. Look at Monica She cute y'all with her uh, braids. Mm -hmm. We better book that trip, okay? <laughs> <laughs> y'all San Francisco need to find out what it want to be like do we want to be brisk do we want to be warm we need to know the sun just came out beautiful it feels great it feels amazing mm -hmm. we <laughs> are still waiting on our friend mm -hmm. um, so we found somewhere else to go what's it called again Monica Trapasueno Trapasueno oh. it's like a Mexican spot Hey y'all, I promise at some point I'm gonna get on this camera and I'm gonna look like somebody. We still have not gotten ourselves together since we got off the plane, so we just chilling. I hope she brings a drink menu back. I wanted to show y'all, they had the, like, the most interesting margarita choices and tequila cocktails that I've ever seen. Here's the menu. 
They have like the regular house margarita, but then they have all these interesting like, you see the trapasueño has ginger, liqueur, grapefruit, bitters, rose infused salt, the violetta has vanilla salt, agave, cream de violet. You know, they just have smoked salt, rosemary salt. I never heard of all these sauce. And then they have these kava top cocktails, so it's top with bubbly. I hope y'all can hear me. It's getting loud in here. So that looks yummy. We both just ordered the Florida Sid. The biscuits infused tequila, orange, lemon, and agave, Spanish kava. They also have tequila cocktails as well. Mm -hmm. Y'all, Monica flirted with the bartender and got a free shot. <laughs> Don't be putting that on the internet. <laughs> but no, I'm joking. I was over there talking to him. We were talking in Spanish. He told me his life story. And he got free shot. No, but that Margaret guy there, the bomb. This one is too. Good morning. Napa day one is starting. We are eating breakfast before we check out of our San Francisco hotel. Then we're gonna drive, what, an hour? Hour and a half to Napa Valley, check into that hotel, and then our driver picks us up. And we have four wineries we're hitting today. Lunch, dinner, we'll see if we make it to dinner. Y'all know, the wine, are, the wine is, the, is the main priority today. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're wrapping up breakfast. It was delicious. We got some things to go, um, but I wanted to come up here just to give a recommendation for this hotel because ever since we stepped out from the taxi, check-in, restaurant, every staff member we've come across has been polite, accommodating, just patient, just everything. So it's called the Palace San Francisco Marriott Bonvoy. Um, so if you're coming to San Francisco, you're looking for a place to stay, we definitely recommend. We have arrived at the first winery. So, the fun is about to start. It's getting better, for sure. Welcome to Rubbery 2. Ladies, how you doing? <laughs> Ladies, uh, you know, getting a little warm out, but I think we can still enjoy some of this outdoor weather yeah, before nice too out. long. Uh, so grab a glass. Excellent, Cheers. ladies. So this little guy right here, going to be something a little bit different than you see in the valley. Uh, anywhere else you guys cruise around, you're probably seeing a Sauvignon Blanc and a, and a Chardonnay. Uh, this is neither, but it's going to taste a little bit like both. Okay. Uh, this is a Roussan and Marsan grape blended together. So if you've never heard of either of them, don't worry about it. They're really, really obscure. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably 99.9% .9 of the population, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a really, really fun wine to start with. Yeah, nice. So let's go eat comfy. Okay. It's rather refreshing. It is. You know, on the front end, it stays very light and bright, kind of tropical and acidic. That's kind of what you would assume or associate with like a Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it kind of sits there and lingers a little bit. And it kind of builds. And you're like, no, this is a Chardonnay. In France, they would basically take one of these fields out here. They grow the Roussan and Marsan together. They harvest together. Uh, we are Californians. We like to make our life very difficult for ourselves early and often. <laughs> wow. So gross overachievers when it comes to winemaking technique. Um, I but mean, if this is wine country, go big or go home, okay? That's right, exactly. <laughs> or go big and then go home. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no. And, okay. yeah, she can chase us up if she wants. This is gorgeous. Okay, get a little of that breeze going up here. So 
that's fake. It's a green screen. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's our little slice of heaven up here. Yeah, look cute. at this beautiful Cheers. backdrop. Aren't they great? So you're actually sitting in our wine barrels. We made wine in those before we turned really? them into Really? Oh wow, yeah. these used to be wine barrels. So uh, they the sell these little guys. Absolutely. Uh, they're like a thousand for two. Lunch break. We have oysters, mozzarella, we have little tomatoes. We have some. Did everybody get salad? And salad coming. Some light and slight. That was delicious. Forever, but it's fine. We're gonna wait. Lip balm. She's helping me. Oh, yeah. lip balm. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, branding. Yeah. Can't be dry. Okay. Some moisturizer. Information. Some yeah. more hot sauce. Pepper sauce. Ooh. Hot sauce in my bag. Swag. And this is Sasha Fierce. Yeah. There we go. That's there we Sasha go. Fierce. <laughs> That's the little hangover tip. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna unbox this hangover the kit. The pen and then the hangover kit. 
This is what we need. Yeah. <laughs> You're there. Antacid for the hang hangover kit. Yeah, yeah. We don't get drizzy, we get candy. Ibuprofen, Period. basically Advil for the hangover uh -huh, kit. Uh huh, uh huh. Blistex for your dry lips. They be dry. We don't be dry okay. though. Or, we don't be dry. Or your ankles. Or your ankles, oh, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like that's a good alternative. Yeah. We don't have dry, dry lips, but or dry ankles. Some things will be dry, and you can use that. like in between our fingers or something that we need to, <laughs> that we need to apply. Mm. Get it, get it. Uh, uh, get it, ma. Get it. Get that. Twenty years ago. Y'all know I'm from 7 by 7 so it's my shit. Oh my mom is so sweet. Mama Britton sent this to the to this to our room. She Mama Britton sent the a bottle of wine. She even put me on the plate. She loves y'all. She's the best. And she sent this cheese board. This is awesome. She's the best. She is the absolute best. We are back from our three vineyards today. They were all amazing. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna to top it, but we've checked into our room at the Archer. We have double beds, double queen beds. So I'm gonna show you a quick tour of the room. Apparently the rooftop bar at this restaurant, at this hotel is very popular. So here's the restroom. We all were excited for these slippers. So um, here's a shower. Very cute. I love this lighted mirror here. Full length mirror, check your outfit. Right, not in the bathroom behind the door. Right. Here's one clean bed here. Mm, here is the TV. Here's a sitting area. Two armchairs. Good morning, good morning. So we are on day two of Napa. You guys, we have four wineries planned today and we don't know how the hell we're gonna finish this wine. We gotta have a new strategy. Yesterday we came, we saw, we conquered. We drank everything that was poured in our cup. Today, I don't know if we're gonna have to use the same strategy. We might have to do a little pours, pour now. You know, I don't know, I don't know. We're ready to have a good time. Like I said, we have four wineries. Um, right now we are on our way to go to Oxbow Market. Um, apparently it's kind of like a busy marketplace that has a lot of options, you know, fruits, food, all that. Um, most of it's probably grab and go, I think, and they probably make some orders cook to go, like um, cook to order. Um, then we're going to meet our driver that's picking us up today. So happy we got a driver. If you're coming to Napa and you know you want to <laughs> if you're coming to nap and you know you want to bounce around to wineries there was like a lady that like hey you like stop vlogging um i definitely recommend the driver i'm glad that we invested in that because we were able to just relax enjoy our time not worry about directions and you know want to be safe and have fun to tear this up okay we have made it to our first winery of the day plump jack so if you're coming to napa i don't know if it's gonna stay like this but right now definitely make your um reservations for for tastings like don't try to come and think you're just gonna walk in everyone's doing tastings by appointment only so again i don't know if they're only doing that because of COVID or if they're gonna keep it like that, but make appointments before you come when you're planning your trip.
crossroad. So he's going to hold your wine for you? Yes. Come on in. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. What kind of wines do you like? Must red, be red. red yeah. Okay, I can do a full red wine set for you. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. I like my favorite. I like my favorite. Yeah. Okay. And it's nice and cool in here. Yes, it is. So, um, my name is Darren, and I'm a wine educator here. I'm a senior wine educator for five years. And I have a Perfect. Welcome, gals. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I will take that. Thank you. Mm. And then, thank you. A blend of Pinot Gris, Pinot Blanc, and a varietal called Malone de Bourgogne, mm -hmm. coming from the Willamette Valley. Oh, I love the bottle. I love the bottle. Oh, nice. Pomegranate tree, so right up there. Pretty. I see the yeah. lilacs. We have a big uh, peach tree on the other side. And were those pears on the other side of where we came in? Right across over there? Uh, no, those are pomegranates, actually. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, these are all star flowers. Um, so yeah, so while we wait to get started at this vineyard, let me give y'all an update on the last vineyard. We went to Bell Wine Cellars, I believe it was called. Um, he was a wine educator. Like he taught us so much about wine there. The wines were great. Um, and now we are at Tres Sabores. So we're gonna have lunch here. We ordered sandwiches and they have snacks. And then of course you're gonna do a tasting too. And this one's women owned, so that's exciting. You guys, I have a new friend. I pet him Did one time. That was a sheep? Yeah, I No. I pet him one time and I look at him. What? <laughs> you hear? Look at him. Man. Okay, so it's food time. My sandwiches. I've already started eating because I'm just hungry. I have this ham sandwich. I forgot what kind of cheese this bomb. And my zesty jalapeno chips. I'm gonna have some truffle chips mm -hmm. and chicken bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Lizzie has barbecue chips and some tuna. Tuna. And we just got vineyard views in the shade. We got dog company. Sipping rose. Sipping rose. Final winery for the day. Winery four. Minor family or minor vineyards. I'll find a sign somewhere. Look at this view. Thank you. Enjoy that. Have you been here before? No, um, this is our first well, time. Good. Welcome. Where are you visiting from? New York. DC. Virginia. Let's go. Yeah. We've napped. We're rested. Headed to dinner at the Bricks. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the food is good because I'm getting a little hungry. We had a great day at our four wineries today. Surprisingly, we were more done ski yesterday than we are today. <laughs> we paced ourselves a little more today. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're about to go do that and then wrap it up for the night. Last night we went to dinner too at this place called Don Giovanni, but I didn't take the camera out. I was tired. <laughs> Y'all be acting like we don't know how to act tonight. <laughs> 
We didn't got dessert. Day three Napa underway. We have two wineries set up today. Then we're going to grab lunch, drive back to San Francisco, have a great dinner there, and then fly out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, Napa's been good to us so far. Let's hope that we can keep that going with these last two vineyards. Well. Okay, this is called Black Stallion Estate Winery. Cheers, ladies. Day three. Day three. very light and it's like These are all what's called method traditional, so to go through, uh, through the champagne process, even though we're not allowed to call them champagne because they have to be from that region. So to get the bubbles, you actually add you some sugar to it once it's already in the bottle. I'll create a little bit Thank of Thank you. Uh, there as well. yeah, What'd you say? I'm sorry. I'll be right back to the cheese plate. Okay, sugar. perfect. Yeah. You guys, we yeah. do we'll with back. my cousin. Yes. This is my cousin. Hi, guys. And so <laughs> she did a tasting with us. It was amazing. It was so yes. good to see her. Uh, yes. <laughs> She gave I can't all wait the to energy. See her again. I think I'm a kidnapper. I mean, I think I'm a kidnapper. <laughs> it ain't gonna be hard. Cause I'm be like, <laughs> where would you like me to sit? <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is a week later, and I was editing the Napa footage, and I realized I did not close out the Napa footage at all. So I'm back. Wanted to close it out. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us as we visited. What did we do? Nine vineyards in Napa Valley. Um, and see some of the places that we dined. Um, we did what, where we cut off. I last saw my cousin when we went to our last vineyard. After that footage, we drove back to San Francisco, checked back into the same hotel that we already stayed at in San Francisco, and we had a nice seafood dinner that night. And then we had an early morning to go back to the airport. Um, so we enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we enjoyed having some girl time to catch up. Uh, we enjoy being able to um, all visit Napa um, and y'all, I'm adding that to my places that I have to return to. I definitely am a cab drinker, so <laughs> you know, that's where they call the grow the crab grapes, so that was a perfect place. A couple of things um, that I'm not sure if I was able to touch on when I was taking the footage, so I want to just let you know now. Um, we wanted to go to Brown Estate Vineyard, which is black owned in Napa, but they were not open to non-club members during the time that we visited. Um, they did have on their website that they were opening up at the end of July, so they're probably open now. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to, to visit because they were still closed from the pandemic and we're opening up after we're already gonna be gone. I think I already mentioned this, but just wanna highlight it again. Um, if you can, try to get a driver if you plan on going to several vineyards. Um, of course, you want to stay safe out there. Um, and wine from the store versus wine from vineyards hit different. So <laughs> wine from a vineyard does not have to go through any like preservation process or anything like that. It's much stronger. So not saying you can't handle it or anything like that, but just, you know, if, you, if you're able to, I would suggest getting a driver or having somebody be designated driver. Um, especially if you've never been before, you don't know where you're going. Um, just my recommendation, of course, do what you want to do. But that was one of the things that we were happy that we um, splurged on because we were just able to just relax and just enjoy. We enjoyed all of the vineyards that we went to. One other thing I will note out, point out is on the last two day, the last day we drove ourselves to two vineyards and those are kind of like more popular vineyards that you know, are well known. They're more like touristy. Um, you can easily Google them. Um, and we noticed a clear distinction in experience <laughs> with the wineries that we toured the previous two days, which were more kind of private, smaller, um, not as well known. You kind of know about it if you are from Napa or you um, have been in Napa a few times or you know somebody from Napa. So that was another reason outside of just safety that we really. Uh, we're glad that we did book a driving company. So the tour company we booked were Napa Native. 
and they were able to have a conversation with us, figure out what type of wine we liked, and then they were and what type of experience we wanted to have. They were able to recommend wineries based off of what we told them. So, uh, without rambling any further, hope you enjoyed it. It was a perfect pre celebration to my birthday. My birthday is coming up on this Thursday, July 22nd. So um, it was nice to just start off with Napa. We didn't go to Napa for my birthday. We went just as friends, but it was great to just start off that way, just doing something I enjoy with people that I love. Um, and of course, we'll be doing something more local to celebrate on my actual birthday with some more friends. So hope you guys enjoyed the footage. If you have any questions on Napa, let me know. I'll be working on a blog post for our blog, findingtheforces.com. So is there anything you want me to highlight um, in that blog post? Definitely comment down below and let me know. All right, you guys, um, stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, hit that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell because we have more trips coming up. We will have a family trip at the end of July. So we'll be vlogging that. Then in October, we have another family trip. So if you're not subscribed, definitely um, subscribe and, and continue coming along with us. Travel back popping now, baby. We vaccinated and we ready to go. We back, baby. Peace out.